We're starting a series profiling local candidates you'll see on November's ballot. Last week, we watched Dakota Cassette's Didier interview Russ Fulcher, Idaho's representative for the 1st Congressional District. Now this week, he talks with Fulcher's challenger, Democrat Kaylee Peterson, beginning the interview with her thoughts on economic policy she thinks will help working class families. I think working with working class families and being a working class mom myself, all we've ever asked for is to really focus on these issues. So I'm excited at the idea of eliminating income tax, especially on overtime pay. But what I think might be more important is that we really protect workers' rights, specifically in Idaho, so that we protect overtime pay. We protect the expectations that employers have and how they're treating employees with their wages, with their health care benefits, with their pensions and retirement age. I think the first First step in Idaho, and I think this has to be done at the local level, but I think that there's federal legislation we can do to support it, is getting rid of right to work. Because as I travel the state, what this is deemed is right to starve with working class families. I work with unions all across the state, from the steel workers to the electrical workers to the educators to the firefighters, and all of them want the same thing, and that's the, the right to organize. You know, we have less regulation on out-of-state employers than we do on the working class families that work out of Idaho communities. So I think that's a huge priority, that and wages. Kaylee says economic issues are core to her campaign, particularly protecting workers' rights to unionize. After she brought up wages, I asked her how she'd like to see federal wage guidelines changed. We're fighting so hard just to get to $15 an hour. But if we really wanted to match the rate of increase with cost of living, then really people would be making around $35 an hour. You know, Congress makes a minimum of $174,000 a year. And that's for a reason. It's because that's really the minimum amount of money that a middle class family can make and, and survive comfortably. And so I would like us to get to the point where everybody is making a livable wage, that we're not just fighting to get to, to $15 an hour, which isn't enough, especially when we look at the fact that wages have stagnated since the 70s, and yet the, the, the productivity of our people is up 69%. So people are working harder and more for these corporations than ever before and making less and having a harder time surviving. So it's incredibly important. Kaylee said she's been traveling across Idaho over the last few months, asking locals how they feel about Idaho's economy and how it could be improved. She told me for most folks, it really came down to one big issue. I, it's funny because when I'm talking to the people in this state, I hear the word inflation thrown around a lot, but I don't think that's an accurate term. I think what we're seeing is, I, I, I use the word greedflation because there's really no other way to describe it. What people in Idaho are struggling to afford is groceries, it's gas, it's housing. None of these things are regulated by the federal government. All of these have been accused of price fixing, price gouging, collusion, and monopolized markets. So at the federal level, we really need to start holding these corporations and industries accountable, accountable to working class families, accountable to the middle class, and that means regulating.